Cookie Kitchen, where I enjoy teaching you recipes with love. I want to share with you a traditional Chamorro recipe called Beef Caliguin. It is so delicious that it can be served as a side dish and you can enjoy it with your next meal. I will teach you step-by-step step how to prepare this delicious Chamorro recipe. Let's look at what ingredients we have to prepare beef caligrin. Let's take a look and see what ingredients I will be using to prepare this traditional Chamorro recipe beef caligrin. The ingredients that we need is green onions, water, less sodium soy sauce, onions, salt, Donny Nancy, lemon powder, some hot peppers, and some flank steak. Okay, so let's begin by cutting up our onions. We will need one onion. Now we wanna finely slice these onions. That's your preference if you want them small into cubes. But I, we like them finely, thinly sliced, just like that. Okay. Okay, so that completes the slicing thin slices of our onions. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in our bowl and work on our next ingredient. Next, we will need four hot peppers. Now we want to cut them up Now, if you don't like pika, pika is hot in our language. If you don't like your Kellowin pika, pika, you can lessen the amount of hot peppers that you want in your Kellowin. So our hot peppers are all chopped up. Let's set this aside and work on our next ingredient. So we will be working on our flank steak. We would need one pound of flank steak. I have dampened um, and taken out and squeezed out as much blood as it is. And I've also tried to take away as much fat in our flank steak. So what we wanna do is we want to cut this in half. And we want to Thinly slice our flank steak. Or to whatever thickness you like in your steak. Okay, so we want to cut it as thin as you can. Let's go ahead and place this in our mixing bowl. Now we are working with raw meat and Kelleguin is derived as, you know, using lemon and, and salt to cook your raw beef or whatever meat you're using for your Kelleguin. Okay, so we have our beef all sliced up. Now let's work on our next ingredient. We will be adding one pack, which is about a third of a cup of lemon powder. If you don't have lemon powder, you can use fresh lemon, 
which is about one and a half cups that you'll be using. Okay, so what we want to do is squeeze that into our meat. Now this is where it's going to al allow the raw beef to cook with the lemon. So we want to massage that lemon powder up in the steak. And while we're doing that, we are going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm using less salt because I have other ingredients that contains a lot of salt in it. So let's go ahead and continue to massage that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the remaining of this lemon powder from this pouch that we were supposed to use the entire packet and continue to massage in on the beef. Now, as you can see, it's turning brown or it's turning like a light brown in color. That's indicating that it is being cooked with the lemon powder and the salt. Okay, so we are gonna add our next ingredient, which would be our onion. Now this was one onion that we had finely sliced. Let's go ahead and massage that in. So I've massaged the onions in the beef. So my next ingredient that I'm going to place in this bowl is one third of a cup of less sodium soy sauce. Now I've indicated that there was gonna be other ingredients that had high in sodium. So that's why I am using less sodium soy sauce. About one third of a cup. We're gonna add that to this. And we are going to continue to massage the beef as we added the soy sauce. And our next ingredient that we are going to add into this is our water. Now I have about one fourth of a cup of water here. We're gonna pour that in. Continue to massage that in. Okay. So the next ingredient I'm going to place in this is our hot peppers. Now I like my beef caliguin pika. Pika is hot, as I mentioned earlier. I like my beef caliguin pika. So I am going to add Donny de Nancy. And if you don't have Donny de Nancy, you can use hot peppers. This is about half a teaspoon of Donny de Nancy. Mix that all in. And I'm going to add, this is about four hot peppers. As you can see, the beef is, color is turning different is because it's cooking. 
Now our final ingredient that we're going to place in this is our green onions. I have here about one bundle of green onions that I had chopped up. And go ahead and continue to massage that in. Now it's best to always get fresh beef when you're preparing beef caliguin. So if you know your butcher at your local meat store, be sure you're getting some fresh beef that is cut, which I have done that. So we are going to place this in the fridge for about two to three hours or even overnight and allow the um, marinate to continue cooking our beef. So there you have it, our beef caliguin. Serve this chilled, enjoy it with rice, or as a side dish, or even a chaser. 